Hey guys, good morning. It's Jonathan, obviously, with One Big Impact. I put my shades on to a little cooler. A little cool. Ooh, what the f does that smell? <laughs> it smells horrible. So, if you noticed in yesterday's video, this is probably a horrible way to start out my video. So, I'm kind of hyper sometimes, and I like to be Mr. Jokester. If you saw me fake sneeze, I was probably going to add a inappropriate sound effect to that, <laughs> but I didn't because I wanted you to take me seriously also, but I had to fight everything I could to not add a fart sound <laughs> because that's literally why I did that fake sneeze. You guys are probably like, what the hell is he talking about? I did not want this to be in the same, <laughs> same video, but I'm actually... Whoa, whoa want to talk for a minute to uh, my family specifically on healthy living for a healthy life. So lately I've been thinking a lot and I do a ton of Atkins videos um, and there's a couple things now don't ever think I'm bashing Atkins because Atkins has done a lot for me what I am proposing or wanting to discuss with you and I need you guys' feedback. I really, really, really need you guys' feedback. Um, I'm thinking about starting my own thing. Um, a lot of people ask me all the time, well, what can I eat? I need a meal plan. I don't like Atkins meal plans. I get bored with the same meals, blah, blah, blah. Blah, I don't know what to eat. I'm, I'm getting left and right and right and left. Um, I'm getting tons of questions that um, Atkins just can't answer for us. Um, a couple things that I've noticed. Okay, so first of all, I don't even know if I wanted to tell you what it's called. I probably shouldn't yet because i got to check out you know what's up with like copyrights and stuff like that on how to but for some reason today I woke up compelled to start writing um, I have a mentor that helps me with um, with me and uh, kind of where I'm going in life and I will say she's a she but I'm not gonna tell you who she is um, she helps me kind of look at the direction I'm going with everything um, and she mentioned to me that um, a lot of what I'm doing is so much more than just Atkins and I was kind of like well, what do you mean you know you know a lot of my videos are just based on um, Atkins and stuff like that yes I'm definitely gonna take ibuprofen I had I know I think Lisa Lisa you are a uh, a nurse, right? Am I still still? Uh, am I still? Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Am I still supposed to be feeling these DOMS, the delayed onset muscle soreness, or if anybody else knows out there? Because um, I'm still in pretty extreme pain as far as my calves go, and I thought it would be healed by now. I don't usually have it go this long. Maybe I went way too hard. I don't know. Hopefully, I didn't pull my calf muscles or something. But it's really painful. So, let me know. The person um, that I'm talking to kind of let me know that um, my background, and I've come to this conclusion as well, um, there's so much more than losing weight with this battle. You need uh, motivation, mental support, uh, you need to figure out where the overeating has come from. I'm also feeling, I don't even want to, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm trying so hard not to just take an idea and run with it because I'm pretty well known for that with the ADHD, the bipolar, the fact that I'm an Aries, the hyperactivity and stuff. Um, But for some reason, I'm feeling like 
And I don't know if this is just today or what's going on, but I'm like, well, maybe I could write like a small book about it. Um, I could write my own individual meal plan and, you know, um, offer those for a fee, you know, on um, my YouTube channel so that people could, you know, separately do the book and then the meal plan um, so that people can get an idea on, you know, how they can switch it up more. Um, because for many, many people, and it will be like a low carb regimen. Um, it's not going to be like following Atkins, um, but it's going to give you more of an idea. I want to possibly, um, try to incorporate something along the lines of, I don't want to say a cheat day, but I want to say like, I think it would be nice once a month, um, or once you know, every few months or yeah, probably once a month to be able to just kind of have a night for you. Now I'm not saying gorge yourself or do anything crazy, but I think it would be nice to be able to have a day, you know, where you could go out and have some regular drinks with your, your girls or the boys or, um, you know, go out to eat without having to worry. Um, I will say that I'm very fearful of this because I don't want to lose anybody. Um, you guys have become really, really, a really, probably the biggest part of my life um, and the most supportive. So I don't want you to leave because um, that I'm thinking about branching out and doing this. I just feel that um, to be able to help more people. Uh, eventually Atkins is probably going to get mad at me, you know, for making so many videos. And I think if we put something like this in place, um, it's going to help a lot of people. So, and what I wanted to cover, I'm trying not to say the, the words that I'm thinking of. I just don't want my idea to get stolen. Or, um, I just don't care. Uh, I need all the help I can get. I don't have a lot of money. And I'm not asking for money, um, by any means. Please don't think that. But, I guess I'll just tell you what I wanted to call it. <laughs> I want to call it Three Simple Steps to Healthy Living. Because I feel that, um, there's more to it than just meal plans. I feel where most people are going to benefit are um, through other aspects. I do want to do like food meal plans um, because I feel that that is probably one of the most important things. Eating right is obviously a huge factor um, because you are what you eat. Um, the next thing is I want to do... Um, like non-aggressive exercise because I don't think it takes extreme exercise that I put myself through necessarily to be able to see results um, and obviously I would be okay with having aggressive exercise too but um, as far as the plan that I want to um, implement I feel that um, non-aggressive exercise to get going and to start on this type of thing would be most beneficial for the majority of people that are trying to lose weight. Also, um, for me, um, I think emotional and mental health and wellness support is probably the biggest. Um, and the reason that is the I feel that that's the biggest is because if you stop and think about it for a second, and this isn't going for everybody. Some people just like to eat, you know, and they, and they like to sit on their butts and they get overweight and that's, that's cool. But for the majority of us, we've gone through something in our lives, um, that has been either traumatic or um, just bad habits or, um, you're dealing with emotional stress or a traumatic experience or, um, some type of mental or chemical imbalance 
And I think addressing those major, major issues um, can be huge through um, emotional support like we do on the Facebook group. And I get emotional just thinking about it because there's so many of you guys that um, hopefully are benefiting um, as much as I am because like five minutes ago, um, my legs were hurting really bad. And I was like, you know, I could just say screw it and just go eat. And then Amy posted something, you know, how beneficial um, the group is and the system and everything to her success. Even though she only lost a couple pounds in her eyes, which I think that's great. Um, she said, you know, for the first time, I think, in her life, it felt like, you know, we were all um, a family. And... And I think that is probably one of the biggest keys to being successful, having a support group that can support you mentally, um, that can motivate you. Um, you guys are amazing at motivating each other. Um, there are definitely um, so many people that I think are benefiting from this. And I just feel that three simple steps to healthy living, and that might be the name of my book someday. Um, for some reason, I'm feeling compelled to start writing and telling my story and sharing that with people, as well as um, starting my own system. And I get so scared when I say that because taking on something like that, like, I'm not by any means trying to compete with Atkins or, um, a keto diet or paleo or anything like that but I just feel that addressing not only exercise you know for uh, overall health and wellness but um, mental and emotional um, troubles that people have gone through and actually bringing those up and dealing with those type of things head-on to find the root of the problem of overeating um, whether it's an emotional eater uh, problem or you get sad or depressed or anxious and you eat because you're anxious or whatever it is um, a loss of a family member a divorce stress from a child or you know I think those for the most part are never addressed um, and of course meal plans are addressed in so many different ways but I think these three things are a big factor for many of us and nobody ever touches on why you're doing it and that frustrates the hell out of me because when I go eat five plates of food I'm like afterwards I'm like why the fuck am I doing this to myself you know I can't can't tie your shoes properly um, you can't fit in a booth and it's you know and I I look at people now and I've lost a little bit of weight and, you know, and I see people and sometimes I catch myself, you know, at a buffet or something where I shouldn't be. And I see people that are like I was and I just sit there and I, I just start crying because I'm like, Fuck, what am I doing to myself? I'm getting right back there. You know, that person's living the pain that I had to live with and now... I'm just jumping right back into it. So I think, you know, being able to touch on the importance of the emotional strengths and building those qualities up instead of just masking them with some crappy meal plan that nobody really understands um, and being overall mentally more healthy and stable and ready to accomplish something like this is going to be overly beneficial for each and every one of us you guys i really need your support with this one i don't really know exactly if it's a good idea i i feel that the world needs it um and i feel that a lot of us would benefit from it i have compulsively started writing today um 
and I'm a couple pages in, and I don't, I just, I feel through positivity, motivation, um, and touching on those emotional strengths, as well as giving people a better idea of actually, actually what it is, what it means to eat healthy, not just low carb, but just overall, um, as well as uh, doing exercise. You know, and if you grew up where food, nutrition, proper nutrition was not important, exercise was not important, mental stability was not important, which all three of those things are in my house. Um, we have rampant um, mental and chemical imbalances. Oddly enough, I live with my mom in one trailer. The next trailer over my aunt lives there and my uncle um, my uncle's got severe depression left home at 14 years old because I don't even know why this is making me emotional it wasn't me but um, he left home and rode the trains for 45 plus years homeless because my grandfather beat my mom my or not my mom but her sister and her brother really bad and he was extremely extremely abusive so anger is definitely there and stuff um, and he never came back he never came back and he lives next door he deals with depression takes medication for that my aunt I think got the worst of it um, she also lives next door um, she's paranoid schizophrenic hears voices has all kinds of a slew of problems is overweight and she always asks me about the Atkins um, and everybody always tells her you can't lose weight you know, you're crazy and I'm just like what the fuck is wrong with people you know nobody gives you a chance and my sister lives on the other side of us in a different trailer and you know she's got depression and stuff she deals with and and I have bipolar ADHD, my mom, I have depression, exactly, all kinds of things. My mom has a slew of things, and I'm sure my children do as well, but I just try to teach them, you know, to eat right and, you know, do their best to stay active and stuff like that. Um, so for many of us, it's extremely common to have these things. And it could be physical as well, you know, if you're stuck in a wheelchair. Um, that could be a traumatic experience that got you to get depressed or to get sad or to give up. And Hold on. Um, that can be really tough. I'm really hyperactive and I go, go, go. And I guess um, one of my biggest fears is to be able to not walk. So I know, you know, if, if you are all of a sudden stuck in a wheelchair or you know your mobility has messed up or you all of a sudden have crippling back pain or your legs are jacked or you know you have a physical um, aspect of you like fibromyalgia or something like that and you've came to a point in your life where you can't be as active that will take a huge huge hit on your emotional stability and that's hard to deal with but it's a very real reality for many many people across the world and a lot of them slip into getting overweight or overeating because you know nobody's there for them and food always is you can always buy food food you know, you can sit with a tub of ice cream or um, whatever, and 
you know, they say comfort food because when you're feeling down and there is nobody to comfort you, um, many of us turn to food because it does make you feel good. It's like a drug. It releases endorphins and those good toxins in your mind telling you you feel great and, um, I think that's part of what's great about our community online is we can turn to each other for comfort rather than turning to food. Um, but a lot of those things people just don't think of. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to blab. I apologize. I'm not even sure if I'm going to release this video. Um, but if I do... Mark my words, people are going to see an amazing change because I don't think anybody has ever, 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 ever addressed the core problems of why we become overweight or why we eat or why we're sad or whatever it is. Nobody ever addresses those, you know. Yes, exercise is important, and I will teach you as much as I possibly can soak up in knowledge and, until I die. Um, food, I'm going to do my best to do everything I can to create the most effective meal plans that I possibly can. But also, the, the important factor that nobody ever covers is, why are we doing this to ourselves? Because if we don't cover that, and if we don't fix ourselves emotionally, we're going to lose weight and then we're just going to go right back to it because those feelings will come back. So if we know how to deal with those and we find, you know, alternatives instead of eating, whether it's, you know, reading a book or whatever, whatever we come up with, I think that is what is going to create success for the long haul. And honestly, not to be super emotional or overdoing it or whatever, but many people um, don't need that as much. There are many people that have just, just like to eat. <laughs> and I have many friends that just like to eat and end up gaining 20 pounds. And it's like, well, whatever. And they're mentally, they're pretty well okay. Um, but... And that will be obviously addressed through exercise and meal plans, motivation, um, and many of those things. But I think with these three systems in place, as far as the exercise covered in the mental health and wellness, um, as far as like traumatic experiences on all that, as well as giving you a better idea of what the food is that you need, I think... Well, I know that we can do this. I can do this. I believe in myself. And a lot of the times that's what it takes. Um, obviously, these are new ideas. But I think it's time for me to start thinking about it. Yes, I'm going to continue making Atkins videos. And I'm going to continue um, doing challenges and stuff. But I really want to be successful. I want to do my best to create success for other people. It's not about money. It's not about anything. It's about helping others so I can help myself. Um, I want to get out of this trailer. <laughs> you know, every day that, see that right there? All kinds of insects crawl through there every day. And I know it's stupid. You're like, well, you could probably just put a towel in there. I want a home of my own to call my own. Um, you know, so I can live under my own rules and go to the bathroom in my underwear <laughs> if I can. Um, you know, maybe have a pool someday and, you know, just know that this life is not where I'm at now. I have to look in the future 
And I feel like a system like this could not only take me there, but it could take you where you're going. Um, and this could go just so many amazing places um, as far as helping so many great people that I can. Um, <laughs> this is day 14 of the challenge. I'm not trying to bring you guys down. Please don't think I am. I just feel like something really, really great is coming. I know I put a lot on my plate, but I feel like if I can consume five plates of food, <laughs> unfortunately, then I can definitely take on amazing transformations in my life and help you transform your life. You guys, this is Jonathan with One Big Impact. If you like our videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you are already part of my channel, um, or part of my family, please let me know what your thoughts are because I'm really kind of... <laughs> going out on a limb on this one, and I'm a little bit freaked out. I've always kind of stayed close to Atkins, and always known that I need to do my own thing in order to be more successful and actually make it, but you have no idea how scary that is. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I love you guys, and remember to spread love, not hate. Thank <laughs> you.